Hello everybody, once again, Jose Rodriguez here. I'm going to just kind of explain to you why I am really not doing every single review out there for everything that's brand new. I am not a printer reviewer. My goal with this channel has always been to teach you what I have learned in over 22 years of inkjet printing. And so, as a photographer, since I was a child of eight, I have always been learning, 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 and I never had the opportunity to at least help people out that are getting into this game so that they don't make all the crazy mistakes that I have made, too many to even mention, okay? And it wasn't until I began to explore the internet, because the internet didn't exist back then, it was only books and magazines and that sort of thing. That's when I really began to learn how to do things properly. So, remember, I am not a printer reviewer. Why am I not a printer reviewer? Because printers cost a lot of money. And the printers that I have been able to acquire since I began doing this were basically all bought and used in kind of, you know, dicey condition to be honest with you, and I was able to revive them all and get them to original condition for printing. That way I was able to then use them as examples on how to produce prints. Not necessarily whether that particular model is a good performer or not. Sure, I used that model, but basically the primary reason for me doing that was to teach you guys how to print properly. Why that particular model? Because it's probably the one that I happen to have on hand at the time. You see what I mean? Now, both of the major printer companies are not about to send me printers for me to test. They're not about to do that because they know very well. I know they know who I am and they know that I am a proponent of third party inks and at least being able to refill your cartridges so that they don't end up in some landfill. And they'll be there for a thousand years, I guarantee you. So they know very well that's my goal. And uh, it's very funny that lately there's been a resurgence of eco-tank printers and mega-tank printers from Canon and Epson uh, that basically do not require any chips any longer. Chips were brought in for various reasons, we're not going to get into those. Uh, some people may think that it was just to keep us from ever having the ability to refill. Well, originally it was to help us keep track of our ink levels because there was no such thing back then. Okay, So, again, like I said, it's expensive. The channel only makes X amount of dollars every month. That's not sufficient to buy a printer. Okay, so. For me to justify, say, having a P900, when I have a P800, although the P900, yeah, indeed, it is more advanced. It has 10 channels rather than the normal 9, and you only really use 8 of them at any one time because you're sharing the black inks. That's not enough for me to go ahead and shell out the money. I would have to save for maybe 2, 3, 4 months from my channel and not buy anything else just to buy that P900 which anyway they're not really that accessible in the United States at this point until the supply lines open back up printers are pretty scarce lately so again it would have to have some incredibly better features for me to say okay that's going to improve greatly improve the output of my prints and I would like to show people how much better they can produce their prints on this particular model. Not Nothing to do with the model. It's just that that model may be able to produce better prints. And I'm going to teach you how to do that. It could be whatever model. You see what I mean? So I'm not into this game to you know, put this model against that model and that model against that model. Because I just can't do that. 
and the printers that I do have available are, you know, by all intents and purposes, old. Okay? So, there are people whose career on YouTube is about that, about comparing printers. That's what they do, and the major companies have acknowledged that that's, what they, that's all they're going to do, and so they give them printers to review, and hopefully give a positive review. And that's another thing. If I got into this reviewing game, and I don't like something, imagine how that would come across. That company would probably not ever send me anything for me to review because I might be a little bit too honest. Yeah, and it may not be what they want to hear. So just keep that in mind and please stop asking. Of course, I have to politely answer you back. And if, I, if I'm in a bad mood, I may not. <laughs> but, you know, you know me. I'm normally in a very good mood most of the time. So you know what I'm talking about. So... Please don't ask me about this model, that model. Now, when this puppy gets replaced, maybe it would have to be something astronomically good. Okay? And from what I have heard, if you saw my last video where I gave you some rumors that have been floating around, wow, this might be the next printer for me to get. Okay? And I would have to literally get rid of some of my existing printers because there simply isn't any room in here any longer. All right, that's enough of that. Again, remember, I'm not a reviewer, okay? I will compare papers and that sort of thing because that's part of the output process, but I'm not going to review this printer against that printer against that printer because I just don't have them, okay? That's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. As always, happy printing, everybody, and bye-bye.